The First Illyrian War was a short war between the Illyrians, specifically the Rdei tribe, against the Roman Republic. However, its cause is a matter of debate. I will examine them, their previous encounters with the Greeks, the events from the primary sources, and my analysis of the causes and events. What were the causes of Rome's intervention in the First Illyrian War? Find out today on Roman History. The Romans and the Greeks met at least a few times before the First Illyrian War, mainly the Greek city-states in southern Italy, the Greeks in Sicily, and King Pyrrhus of Epirus. However, the meeting with Greece proper was little. In 273 BC, Ptolemaic Greeks met with the Romans and exchanged contact and friendship, and the Latin word was amicitia, informal goodwill. There were three other questionable encounters. One, in the 260s BC, the Greek colony Apollonia, from Illyria, made contact. Then, in the 240s or 230s BC, the Seleucid king, Seleucus II, formed a friendship, but it was more like the Roman Amicitia. Finally, in the late 240s BC, the Acarnanian League fought against the Aetolian League in Greece, and Rome served as the mediator. Before going into the causes, I will mention the immediate events leading up to the First Illyrian War, the sources differentiated them, Appian mentioned the existence of many Illyrian tribes, the Rdei, Scordisci, Tribali, etc. King Agrand conquered a part of Epirus, Corsera, Epidamnus, and Pharos. The Roman envoys and the Issei tribe met with the Rdei. The talks broke down, and the Illyrians killed the Ischian envoy Klemporos and the Roman envoy Corcancanius. The Illyrian king Agron increased the Ardean kingdom's power. In the summer of 231 BC, the Aetolian League attacked Medion, but his army saved it. However, before 230 BC, he died, and his wife Tuta succeeded him because their son was a child. Due to her lax approach to piracy, the pirates attacked Elis and Messenia in the Peloponnese. The Epirotes struggled against them and successfully appealed to the Aetolians and the Achaeans, the Romans also suffered the same problem. Gaius and Lucius Corincanius served as Roman ambassadors to Illyria. While she besieged Issa, they held a meeting. Polybius used stereotypes to discuss various leaders based on their ethnicities. Tuta was no different, and he portrayed her as arrogant. The Romans tried to capitulate her to their demands, but she refused to stop the piracy raids. Because Cassius Dio's Roman history's twelfth book is incomplete, Zonara's version will be the substitute. Issa was in the Ionian Gulf. The Essenes sided with Rome due to opposing Agron. Dio slash Zonara's corroborated Polybius' view of Queen Tuta, arrogant and unreasonable. She refused to give up the assassins. There were three different causes, there was piracy from Illyria, and one of them was from the Ardeans. As a result, Roman merchants and their Greek allies suffered from the pirates, mainly from the Roman colonia, colony Brundisium. Polybius stated that this was the cause of war against the Illyrians. The pirates roamed the Adriatic and attacked the Greeks in Sicily and the Greek mainland. However, what was not there was Rome's involvement in trade in the Adriatic. Regardless, there was some evidence to give an idea of the involvement with the Greeks. The Via Appia extended from Rome to Capua to add the Greek colonies in southern Italy like Beneventum and Tarentum. Also, Roman control interrupted local societies to favor their interests. In addition, the Aetolians and Achaeans had struggled with the Illyrian pirates, and Roman envoys met with them to deal with the situation. Worse, Queen Tuta was hands-off on the piracy. Finally, the direct indication of the Illyrians began in 230 BC. Despite the evidence, there were some problems with the piracy perspective. 1. Polybius was not the best primary source of the First Illyrian War, which is the view of many modern scholars today. 2. In the peace treaty, Issa and Pharos were to the north of Lysus, which was not part of it. However, the vital trade routes were safe from piracy. According to Appian, the sides met in Issa, which was a misinterpretation of the events. 
Since Rome had allies, it had an obligation to protect them against their enemies. For example, the 2nd century Greek historian Appian of Alexandria claimed Rome got involved due to the Essenes pleas for the Rdei tribe's expansion under King Agron. The same went for the Greek historian Cassius Dio's account, which the Eastern Roman chronicler Zonaras used to compensate for the fragments. However, the difference was the Ardeans conquering the Essenes. Also, another one was Polybius not mentioning an Essene appeal, which was from Fabius Pictor's view but was critical of him. Polybius sued the Roman ambassador's comments on the Greek mainland. In Polybius and Appian's accounts, the Roman Senate sent envoys to the Ardei tribe. However, Polybius' possibly false claim mentioned the envoy's death because of Tuta's refusal to submit to Roman demands. She refused to curb piracy due to her laissez-faire approach. Appian was vague on the situation. As a Roman analyst, he chronicled the events. Issa had an indirect connection to Rome by trade, and it was closer to Rome than Greece due to being on the North Adriatic. To him, the embassy was the possible primary cause. He wrote of pirates possibly attacking the Roman vessel without knowing the presence of a Roman envoy. My view on the cause was probably a combination of piracy and Roman dominance. Rome would not ignore the Illyrian pirates as an issue while dealing with Carthage and the Celts, which were powerful foreign threats to its confederacy. On the other hand, showing its power but not conquering Illyria was a warning to other potential enemies to stay out of Rome's wrath or suffer the same fate and support its allies and colonies. The assassination of a Roman envoy was an immediate pretext for war, which angered the Romans and gave enough justification to fight Tuta. The chronology of the event starts with King Agron's rising power in Illyria. The Romans had trouble dealing with the pirates for some time before the First Illyrian War. Sent their envoys to Queen Tuta, who refused the concessions, killed one of them either by a pirate or her soldiers, and used the assassination as a pretext for war as a means to not mess with them, regardless, it set off a chain of events that led to its intervention in Illyria and the contemporary Eastern Mediterranean powers. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.